Okay, so now that I have my theme, I know what each of my letters are standing for. Okay, I got that all figured out. Um, so now I can start thinking about how now we're gonna start making the graphic design part of it, okay? Um, and so now that I know my theme is Nintendo, um, I started, for me, since I'm using Nintendo, I was gonna just look at the logo to get some ideas. So all I did was just Google search, you know, Nintendo, and just to see what their logos look like. All right, so I can see how um, if there's a lot, there's like the bold red, it's white, and black. Okay, there, I know there's older designs, but I'm just kind of going off with this and also like Nintendo Switch and going from there. Um, I'm also looking at um, how they utilize kind of like rounded rectangles, as well as this part here um, is more like rounded-ish rectangles with the circles. Kind of, kind of looks a little bit like a yin and yang sign. So I'm looking at that and I'm going to incorporate that um, into my design. Okay, since I'm using this as my theme, this is going to how I'm going to unify um, my artwork and all my different pieces that I'm making too. So this is how we're going to unify it like visually. So that's what I'm thinking about. So I wrote it down. So I just drew out the shape using logos. We just saw this part here um, as well as like the switch logo. So I wrote those down for reference. Um, you know, I just wrote down the colors. I call them, I call them you know, just bold colors in general. And then there's just a white, black, and red. And then the font, I, I didn't talk about it before, but, um, you know, referencing their logo. Again, it's bold, rounded lettering. They also use upper and lower case. Um, so you can even just thinking about that. Uh, just kind of some reference to make sure that I'm also using that for my lettering um, in my name. So before I get any started into all this, I just thought about, okay, my name's Mikowski. It's nine letters, so that means they're gonna have nine shapes or like nine boxes, okay? So then you're gonna start thinking just about how to break it down into a composition. So this is this part here. So just not before I add any like other drawings of all the different things that you did with your letters, um, just thinking about the overall look to it. So if this was my little sheet of paper, I'm just making a little sketch of it. I'm gonna think about composition, Okay, and composition is just really how you're arranging all the pieces on here. So it's like you're, it's like a puzzle, but you're figuring out how all the pieces look, um, but they all should come together to create a whole, okay? Um, readability, that just means, can I still like be able to follow the letters? Is there kind of like a pathway to decide how, uh, when people look at my artwork, how are they going to view it? Is it just gonna look like a jumbled mess? Is there gonna be, think about the order of it. Okay, it should still kind of have some order to it. I didn't place these letters randomly. Now there's different options because as I was doing it, I wasn't sure how I wanted to decide exactly how I wanted to do it. Um, so I had my B here and then I had the A, you know, C, K, O, W. So I was, you know, you can see I'm going clockwise and then, but then I kind of do S, K, I. So I broke the going around in a circle, but I thought for readability, it might be easier if everyone kind of read it down, like it's reading down this way, but I have it off to the side as instead of having these letters in this order, should I have it where it is still going clockwise all the way around, so it would be actually be S-K-I. So those are things to think about um, as I'm going through, okay? Um, so that's why I'm talking about readability, is how is your name um, going to look? Um, can people still understand this? If it's trying to spell something instead of just being like this apple soup, you know, alphabet soup thing. Okay. Um, and then consistency. So that goes back to, um, in my case, I was using the logo. So I haven't got any color yet, um, but I was thinking about the shapes. Remember I talked about the nine shapes for mine? How are you going to break it down? Because if they were all the same size shape, it would be boring. It would be very like, interesting. Um, and you want to also incorporate... Um, the theme into it, how you're breaking it up. Um, so I incorporate thinking about like these rounded rectangles, okay? Um, and you can kind of see how I had like the Switch uh, logo here. I took that and I split it up into here. And I just, I just, I just expanded it. And then I just made um, these ones smaller, like little like shapes, okay? So, um, you know, for the first letter of my last name, you know, is, you know, for B, I want that to, I want that to be emphasized. So that way people have a visual place to start reading my, um, my artwork. Okay. So usually people start and, you know, at the top, um, left-hand corner when you're like reading, 
you know, a page. So that's where I put that one and I made it really big. Okay, and that's the biggest letter in all the other letters. This one takes up the same amount of space, but I broke it up so that way it's, um, it's smaller, even though it takes up the same amount of visual space um, with the same shape, okay? Um, and so I was, you know, going around like this, I kind of thought to keep these more like rounded, um, like squares, kind of trying to mimic, you know, the roundedness of here, okay? Um, so I'm just, that's all, just kind of going through these things that I'm thinking of. Um, I also thought about how it's split up. So like, because these are, I want these to have both have the same visual weight. These are the exact same size. And this, if this is my little piece of paper here, I split it exactly down the middle. I wanted it to have, they wanted to share a little place right here instead of it, um, you know, their corners just matching like this. They kind of wanted to be a little offset. Um, and then for these ones, I wanted to stack them, just kind of make them look like, kind of like, um, like those Mario like uh, platforms. So kind of mimicking kind of like a game pieces, okay? Um, so that's why I kind of stacked them and I staggered them again just to make it a little more visually interesting. Uh, but even how I stacked them, I try to think about like this ends at the same point as this ends, okay? Same with this, okay? I put this and it's, I, I drew like a little line there just to show that I um, was matching that up, okay? So like some things I would have to fix um, like there's not much space between here and the edge of the paper. I have more uh, space right here. So I would have to, for my final design, have to move this over a little bit more. Um, there's, it doesn't match up. Since I'm making a symmetrical design, um, I would just have to move that. Same with this one. It's a little too close right here to the edge of the paper and I have a little bit more room here. When I do it for my final, I would just have to make sure I have the same space here as I do for down here. Okay, so I came up with this part. I wanna show you some older designs to see um, kind of like what it came, what I uh, came to. So what I had before, so I've done this for different projects for different reasons. So this is my main name. <laughs> uh, but before I was just thinking about just gridding out, um, just very generic grid um, based on like the number of spaces. Um, and then because I had an odd number, I decided to do the first letter of my first name. So I've, I've done different iterations, but it, it's not as visually interesting when they're all the same size shapes. And I didn't have a theme for it. So, you know, I've changed things as I've gone along here. So then this one I've done before, um, when I was still doing the Nintendo theme, as you can see, I still have B for Bowser. Um, but, and I was thinking more about the, the visual weight of things. Again, I wanted to make my B really big because that's first not my name. And I was thinking about readability where I still start A, um, C, K, and then I, you know, and then I went from left to right to read um, the rest of the letters of my name. So I was still thinking about readability, um, but I wasn't really as tying it to um, like the logo and thinking about the unified whole. So, I'm, so I have this one, it's better than my, my first one. But um, I like where I came with the, this one is much more visually interesting and it's more unified um, tying back to, um, you know, the, uh, thinking about the logo and how I want to unify everything. Okay, so I'm going to show you some old examples from um, previous students that did something similar to what we're doing. Um, and this is an old one, um, but I really like how he set up the composition to make this diamond shape. I thought that was really nice. Um, and then at each um, like corner there, it showed uh, shoot off into these lines and that's how he broke up the rest of his name. Um, so I thought that was a lot more visually interesting. There's still a lot of negative space. Like uh, ideally this should be bigger to take up more room. Um, and, and the Aldi one should be a lot bigger. You have a lot more space here to move same with this one. So thinking about spacing issues too, Okay, but the overall composition um, was really nice. Okay, and then I'm going to show the next one. This one, um, it just kind of just did a block um, boxes, but I thought it was interesting how he incorporated, um, he didn't follow, a, I, didn't, I didn't have him do a theme before, but how they incorporated um, each letter um, with, the, with the picture. Okay, so just kind of looking at some old examples of that one. Okay.